Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to discuss the concept of determinant of a matrix. The determinant of a matrix is a scalar or a number obtained from the elements of a matrix by certain specified operations which is characteristic of the matrix. The determinants are defined only for square matrices. That is, we can find the determinants only of square matrices. What is a square matrix? A square matrix is a matrix where the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. Now say the determinant for a square matrix A is denoted by DETA or by A enclosed within two vertical lines. Now let us check how do we find the determinant of a square matrix of order 1. That is when there is one row and one column. If matrix A which contain elements A11 is a square matrix of order 1, then the determinant of matrix A is the element A11 itself. For example, if matrix A contain elements 5, then the determinant of matrix A is 5. Similarly, if matrix B contain elements 3, then the determinant of matrix B is 3. Now let us proceed to check how do we find the determinant of a square matrix of order 2 that is where there are two rows and two columns if matrix a which contains certain elements is a square matrix of order 2 then the determinant of matrix a is found by certain procedure in order to find the determinant of a square matrix of order 2 we need to multiply the element a11 with a22 then we add a negative sign Next, we multiply the element A21 with A12. Now, in this particular example, we have matrix A which contains certain elements. The elements are 1, 2, 3, and 8. The determinant of matrix A denoted by A within two vertical lines is equal to. Now, we will write all the elements within two vertical lines. Next, we multiply 1 with 8. We add a minus sign. And next, we multiply 3 with 2. 1 times 8 equals 8 minus 3 times 2 equals 6. So the determinant of matrix A is 2. Now let us check how do we find the determinant of a square matrix of order 3. That is when there are 3 rows and 3 columns. If matrix A containing certain elements is a square matrix of order 3, then the determinant of matrix A denoted by a within two vertical lines is equal to now we enclose all the elements within two vertical lines here in order to find the determinant of a square matrix of order 3 we need to expand along the first row now a11 is present in the first row and first column now since its sum is equal to 2 which is an even number therefore we have a positive sign on deleting the row and the column in which element A11 is present, we are left with element A22, A23, A32, and A33. Next, let us consider element A12. Now, element A12 is present in the first row and second column. Now, since its sum is equal to 3, which is an odd number, therefore we have a negative sign. On deleting the row and the column in which the element A12 is present, we are left with elements A21, A23, A31, and A33. Next, let us consider element A13. A13 is present in the first row and third column. Since its sum is equal to 4, which is an even number, therefore we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element A13 is present, we are left with element A12, A22, A31, and A32. Now in this example, we have a matrix A which contain 3 rows and 3 columns. Now element 2 is present in the first row and first column. Now 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, which is an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 2 is present, we are left with 5, 4, 3, 1. Next, element 1 is present in 
first row and second column. Now since its sum is equal to 3, which is an odd number, therefore we have a negative sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 1 is present, we are left with 0, 4, 2, 1. Next, element 3 is present in the first row and third column. Now since the sum of 1 and 3 is equal to 4, which is an even number, therefore we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 3 is present, we are left with elements 0, 5, 2, 3. Now these are determinants of 2 by 2 order. 5 times 1 equals 5 minus 3 times 4 equals 12 minus 1. 0 times 1 equals 0 minus 2 times 4 equals 8 plus 3. 0 times 3 equals 0 minus 2 times 5 equals 10. 5 minus 12 equals minus 7. 0 minus 8 equals minus 8. 0 minus 10 equals minus 10. Plus times minus equals minus. 2 times 7 equals 14. Minus times minus equals plus. 1 times 8 equals 8. Plus times minus equals minus. 3 times 10 equals 30. Minus 44 plus 8. Therefore, determinant of matrix A is equal to negative 36. We are going to discuss properties of determinants. Now let us straight away look at the first property. The value of a determinant remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged, which implies that if we interchange the rows and columns, the determinant will remain the same. In this particular example, we have interchanged the rows into columns. So the first row we have written as first column, the second row we have written as second column, and the third row we have written as third column. On interchanging the, on interchanging the rows into columns and columns into rows, the determinant will remain the same. The second property says that if any two rows or columns of a determinant are interchanged, then the value of the determinant is changed by minus sign. In this particular example, we have interchanged the first row with the second row. In this case, the first row we have written as second row and the second row we have written as first row. In this case, the determinant will be the same except that it will have a negative sign. So if any two rows or columns are interchanged, the value of the determinant will be changed by minus sign. According to the third property, if all the elements of a row or column is multiplied by a non-zero number, say k, then the value of the new determinant is k times the value of the original determinant. In this case, we have multiplied the first row by a non-zero number 5. Now, if you multiply all the elements of the first row by a non-zero number 5, then the value of the new determinant is 5 times the original determinant. If each element of any row or column consists of two or more terms, then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two or more determinants. In this particular example, we can see that each element of the first column consists of two terms. Now the determinant can also be expressed as the sum of two or more determinants. So in the first determinant, we have taken the first term, two, three, and one, along with the other elements. In the second determinant, we have taken the elements of the second term of the first column that is 1, 2 and 4 along with the other elements. The sum of the value of the first determinant and second determinant will be equal to the value of this determinant. Let us look at the fifth property. The value of a determinant is unchanged if any row or column is multiplied by a number and then added to any other row or column. Now in the second determinant we have multiplied the first row by scalar 2 and then we add it to the second row. 
2 times 2 equals 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5, 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 plus 4 equals 6, 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5. On finding the value of the first determinant and the value of the second determinant, the value of the determinant is unchanged. According to the sixth property, if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical, then its value is zero. We can see here that the elements of the first column and elements of the third column are identical. So in this case, the value of the determinant will be zero. According to property seven, if each element of a row or column of a determinant is zero, then its value is zero. In this particular example, we can see that each element of the second column are zeros. So in this case, the value of the determinant will be zero.